Good day everyone. Let's try to answer some problem posted on Facebook. So let's start. Here's the question. In an equilateral triangle, the length of segment C is 69 centimeters. Determine the value of A plus B. Now, if you want to try this problem, just pause this video. And if you're ready, here's the solution. Recall that C equals 69 centimeters. It follows that A plus B is equal to 2 times 69 or simply 138 centimeters. And we're done. This is a valid solution if we prove that in this kind of scenario, A plus B must be equal to 2 times C. And that's our goal in this video. So we want to show that in this kind of scenario, A plus B, the length of A plus B, must be equal to 2 times the length of segment C. So let's begin. To start with, let's take note of some important information. So first thing to do is if we have a 30, 60, 90 right triangle, the shorter leg is always opposite of the 30 degrees. Let's say that the shorter leg is equal to x. Therefore, the hypotenuse or the longer leg of this right triangle must be equal to 2 times the shorter leg or simply 2x. And the other leg must be x multiplied by the square root of 3. Also, we can use the concept of an isosceles triangle. In an isosceles triangle, the base angle are equal. Also, we need to use the linear pair. A linear pair always adds up to 180 degrees. Going back to our goal, our goal is to show that A plus B equals 2C. So to start with, we need to extend this red line like this. And we need to create a perpendicular line to this red line like this. In this case, we create a rectangle on the bottom. It follows that this blue line is equal to C. Next, this blue line is parallel to the base of our equilateral triangle. It follows that this angle is simply 60 degrees. This is the same as the angle of this equilateral triangle. Next, extend the side of this equilateral triangle like this. Now, this angle must be 30 degrees. The reason is we have a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. We have 60 degrees, we have 90 degrees. It follows that the remaining angle of this triangle is 30 degrees. Now, take note that this angle is 120 degrees because this angle is 60 degrees. It is a linear pair. Now, in this triangle on the top, we have 30 degrees and 120 degrees. It follows that the remaining angle is 30 degrees because the sum of the angles inside a triangle is 180 degrees. As you can see, we have 30 degrees and 30 degrees. Therefore, this triangle is an isosceles triangle. Since it is an isosceles triangle, if this side length is B, it follows that the other leg is also B. Now, take a look at this 30, 60, 90 right triangle. Now, the shorter leg is always opposite the 30 degrees. Therefore, the shorter leg must be equal to C. And the hypotenuse is the sum of A and B. Therefore, using this concept, we can say that A plus B, the hypotenuse, is equal to 2 times C or the shorter leg. So we have A plus B equals 2C. It follows that our answer a while ago, we have A plus B is equal to 138 centimeters and we're done.